Hello everyone, my name is Bubble Zest and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. In today's video, this will be a guide to the achievements our other places in the sun and monarchy is back in fashion. So to start off, let's just do some standard research. We have four research slots as Germany, so we can add some support weapons to that for our military factories. We'll build, well, mil more military factories. And with the extra ones we have, we're going to put 15 into guns, Three into support equipment, three into artillery, and five into tanks. We're going to get rid of everything else except Fighter 1 and Motorized. These subs can remain there, okay. In fact, they'll be very useful later, so we're going to stabilize our production a little bit. There we go. We'll spam out a load of these bathtubs. We'll build some more convoys as well. They'll be a bit more useful too. There we go. For our actual army now, we have 30 divisions, so let's just gather them up a little bit. There you go, 24 and 6. Now, do not do a focus. I repeat, do not do a focus. We need a war goal almost immediately. So That's why we're putting up our army like this on the Netherlands' border. Front lines around here. Again, do not do a focus. Just go to speed 5 and begin. Right, it's Jan 21st, and now we are going to justify on the Dutch East Indies. You could justify on the Netherlands themselves, but the world tension is a lot less if you justify on them. Now just wait until you get 10 political power again and start doing your focuses. In my opinion, 4 year plan is a good place to start, so you can rush down to those free civilian factories. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Also, we are going to need a lot more divisions for what we're going to do. Around 72 will do, and as we can't really produce that many tanks, we're going to mostly just do infantry spam. So get ready for those infantry. That's why we're building so many guns. Right, we've finally got our justification on the DEI, so let's use it. There we go. This will immediately bring in the Netherlands as well. This will be no contest, that they can't stop us. There we go. There we go, that's the Netherlands done. Satellite the Dutch East Indies at your own risk, that's what I'm going to do. And for the rest, I'm just going to take all states. There we go. There goes the Netherlands. Now, the, the next step is to justify on the Philippines. Yep, the Philippines. We're going after America. Now you may think, but doesn't Curacao count for this achievement? No, the game considers it a part of South Africa. South America, I should say. So what we need to do is plan some naval invasions into Florida, and then we can just rush down the United States. So let's prepare for that. May as well make good use of our armor. All that we have. We don't have too much, annoyingly. This is so early game. But that's okay. What we have is pretty good. There we go, into Florida will do. And we'll send the rest of the army there too. Put the other bit in Suriname and then the rest can wait around there, getting a lot of attrition, so make sure you're up their infrastructure in both. Right, we've got our justification on the Philippines, so let's activate our naval invasion, put the navy on strike force. There we go, and now let's declare war. This is gonna be a fun one.
There we go. That's the Yankees dealt with. Now, if you don't want to raise your attention too high, the only thing you really need to take is Puerto Rico itself. But of course, that's no fun. So let's take everything. <laughs> I, uh, I don't fancy dealing with the Philippines today. You can be independent. That's my gift to you. There we go. And now, we have to prepare to get rid of Mr. Senor. So let's send all the divisions home. And prepare for the German Civil War. And of course now, we will do the famous Oppose Senor. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This is why we also did stuff like naval rearmament and naval effort. We need to do focus on the true enemy. To get down to our place in the sun and assassinate Mussolini. We also have to be quick as Kaiser Wilhelm dies around June 1941. So we have around three years to pull this one off. That shouldn't be too hard, but, you know, gotta be sure. And this is also why taking the US as a puppet is a bad idea. Any puppets will join Germany, Nazi Germany. So, there you go. There we go, we have done Herd Senor, and he is done. There we go, German Civil War. Thank goodness we got all these extra divisions and stuff. Much more manageable, I suppose. There we go. 47 units, they have around the same. It's going to be a bit of a bloody one, but we should be able to handle this one pretty easy. There we go. Put the units on the front line and prepare to capture what once was ours. There we go. Not the way I would have done it, but that's the end of the German Civil War. Now at this point, we just need to rush down to assassinate Mussolini, so secure the new state and all that nonsense. Also, I still own the entirety of the United States, so yeah. Right, we're reviving the Kaiserreich, so now we're going to hire the monarchist medium Yugle. We don't, shouldn't have to wait too long to get our 40% popularity to do the focus. In fact, let's see if we can just raise it. There we go. Perfect. Now we can do Retirement of the Kaiser. And again, just keep going down to our place in the sun. Again, Wilhelm has the tendency to die in a few years' time, so we do have to be quick. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Look. The faction name for Bulgaria's thing would be Join the Tripartite Pact, but because I named my faction... It could be anything. Hmm. That gives me an idea. Ah, this is useful. Austrian pro-German sentiment. And return of the Kaiser. So we're going to get the Kaiser back. Oh, no. That's... Hmm. As you can see, Britain and France are mobilising. That's pretty annoying, but... I can manage that. So what we're going to do, we're going to put our units on the Maginot line. They can't push through there, or at least not very easily. Next, we're going to just simply put our navy on strike force in, in the Eastern Sea. Enjoy your civil war, France. We can still do getting down to our place in the sun and everything. We just need to be prepared now for a very annoying level of crap. There we go. We've got Austria for practically nothing. Thank you. We'll just place them on port duty. That's basically what our army is going to have to be until we got everything done on port duty. 
Also, luckily, the Soviet Union uh, is on our side. Thank you very much, Soviet Union. You'll be a great hand. And now, just put the high sea fleet on strike force in the eastern North Sea. Should prevent the UK from doing too much shenanigans. We just need to defend at this point. Oh yes, I could go on the offensive very easily and win, but I don't want to, to be honest. Fighting the US was enough for me today. Oh, this is never gonna work. Right, we've done our place in the sun, which concludes one of the achievements. And now we'll prepare Italian Q and assassinate Mussolini. Man don't have any excuse to live. Yeah. And we got Qing Dao. Very nice. Well, um, by complete and utter accident, I have, uh, capitulated the UK, and that is actually enough for the achievement Operation Sea Lion, so, uh, that's a bonus achievement. Congratulations to me, I think. And to finish this war up, we need to take France, but France is death stacking, but imagine no, so, uh, I think this is going to be very easy. There we go. Well, Lubeck, you came back and you took the UK down. Bit of a far cry from what you were doing before, but... <laughs> oh well. So, just like a previous video, we're going to invade from Cherbourg to Le Havre, from Portsmouth. That will be more than useful enough for us. And then we'll just rush down Paris. It is annoying that we won't be able to take much of France, because France had a civil war, thanks to this, but whatever. The UK is a good enough prize, especially probably in Wilhelm's eyes. Wait, what? Wait, you're at war with me. There we go. That's Mussolini assassinated. And that is the achievement. Monarchy is back in fashion. Because Wilhelm is our leader. And now, if you don't mind me, I'm going to quickly clean up a certain Canadian front. Because someone by the name of Canada became a major. And so, and nearly did Australia. So, be right back. Hi everyone, this is Bubbles Zest talking in post commentary. This war was fine and the achievement guide is fine. It's just that I made the slight mistake of allowing Canada to become a major by giving them the United States because I didn't bother to garrison it. I didn't think it was a problem, but this ultimately led to a perpetual war with Farage and Australia as they all became majors themselves. I couldn't be bothered to finish the war, so that's why I'm talking to you now. Anyway, the guide is pretty much fine itself, just you need to make sure you have a good garrison in Canada. Not too problematic, to be honest, but that if you are going to replicate the strategy, that is what you should do. Anyway, the time lapse is going to play out the rest of this video, so do enjoy it. I thank you for watching this video, and see you next time.